So Microsoft's spiced up paint with some cool AI magic. In this video, I'll walk you through this revamped classic. Later, we'll dive into China's new robots that act and chat just like us. Maybe even better. Sounds wild, right? Let's get into it. First, a little bit of history. Microsoft Paint has been around since the very first version of Windows, released in 1985. It was originally based on a program called PC Paintbrush, developed by Zsoft Corporation. Over the years, Paint has evolved and improved, adding features like color palettes, brushes, shapes, text tools, and more. But it has always remained a basic and easy-to-use app for quick sketches and edits. You know, the kind of app that you use to doodle on your screenshots or make memes or just have fun with. But now, Microsoft is taking Paint to the next level with AI integration. According to a report from Windows Central, Microsoft is exploring ways to bring AI-powered features to the app in Windows 11, which could include the ability to generate a canvas based on a text prompt. So you could just type in what you want to draw and Paint would create it for you. This feature would be powered by the same technology behind Bing's Image Creator, an AI tool that spits out an image based on your description. You can see how the integration might look in what appears to be an internal mock-up posted by Windows Central. The image shows a magic paint button, along with a sidebar that lets you enter a description of an image for it to generate. It seems like you can then transfer that image to your canvas to make any tweaks. But it's still too early to tell how exactly it'll work. And Paint is not the only Windows app that might get the AI treatment. Windows Central also reports that Microsoft is looking to add AI tools to Photos, the camera app, and the snipping tool as well. For Photos, that could involve a new feature that lets you identify people or objects in a photo and then cut and paste them in other areas. For example, you could remove someone from a group photo or add someone who was missing. Or you could swap faces with your friends or celebrities for fun. As for the snipping tool in the camera app, Microsoft may add optical character recognition, OCR, technology to both. This could potentially allow each app to identify text in photos or screenshots, which would make it far easier to copy and paste information from these files. So what do you think? Are you excited about these AI features coming to Windows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. All right, now let's talk about China's latest craze, human-like AI robots. So China is creating robots that look and act like us, but better apparently. First, let me introduce you to EX Robots, a company that specializes in making robots with real-time facial replication. That means they can copy your expressions and emotions in a blink of an eye. The CEO of EX Robots, Li Boyang, demonstrated this by making faces at a robot, who then mirrored them back at him. It was like watching a weird game of Simon Says, but with more wrinkles and less fun. X Robots claims that their robots can interact naturally with humans, thanks to AI and language models. They say they can understand what you say and respond accordingly. But what if I said, looking like a melted waxwork there, buddy? Would they cry oily tears or just serve up some epic robo-repartee? I guess we'll have to wait and see. The technology behind these lifelike expressions is quite impressive, though. X-Robots uses movable electric units on the robotic faces, which can simulate different muscles and movements. They also have a specialized system for generating expressions, either by using predefined scenarios or by collecting biological data from human faces. So basically, they can steal your smile and use it for themselves. How creepy is that? But facial expressions are not the only thing these robots can do. They can also perform various tasks and abilities that require skill and finesse. For example, there was a barista robot that could create latte art with precision and flair. It could draw anything from hearts to flowers to pandas on your coffee foam. I have to admit, that's pretty cool. There were also humanoid robots that could play basketball and dance like pros. They could dribble, shoot, pass, and dunk with ease. They could also groove to the music and execute complex choreographies with grace. They were powered by AI foundation models, which enable them to learn from data and improve their performance over time. They also have increased autonomic decision-making abilities, which means they can adapt to different situations and environments. These robots aren't just cool toys, they're seriously clever. For instance, there's this adorable panda robot named Yu Yu by Yubtech. If you say, I'm thirsty, 
it won't just look cute. It'll actually go get a drink from the fridge for you, even open the bottle and hand it to you. Then there's Cloud Ginger by Data A Robotics. This guy is hooked up to the cloud and runs on Robot GPT, which is a special robot language making model. What's cool is that Cloud Ginger can groove to traditional Chinese dances and chat with folks in different ways. Plus, if you speak a different language or have a special dialect, no worries. It can switch up and chat right back in your preferred language. But they are also more than just playthings for those into gadgets and gizmos. They're getting jobs in real places like schools, big meeting spots, fancy hotels, and elderly care facilities. EX Robots even says their robots can do the heavy lifting in different jobs, like cleaning up, keeping an eye on things, delivering stuff, and checking things out. Honestly, this is just them getting started. Imagine a future where these robots are everywhere, in factories, on farms, or even chilling in our living rooms. They might just end up being our pals, helping hands, our personal tutors, or even our buddies. But this also raises some questions and concerns. How will these robots affect our society and economy? How will they impact our jobs and livelihoods? How will they coexist with us in harmony or conflict? Well, according to China's Vice Minister of Industry and Information Technology, Xu Xiaolan, China is leading the world in the robot industry and has great potential for growth and innovation. He said that China aims to create a robot ecosystem that integrates manufacturing, service, education, medical care, entertainment, and other fields. He also said that China will promote the development of intelligent robots that are safe, reliable, adaptable, collaborative, and ethical. Sounds good on paper, but I'm not so sure about reality. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think these robots are amazing feats of engineering and creativity, but I also think they are kind of scary and unsettling. I mean, do we really need robots that look and act like us? Do we really want robots that can do everything we can do? Do we really trust robots that can think for themselves? One of the most controversial issues in the debate about AI is whether AI can ever be conscious. And if so, does that mean they deserve rights as humans do? I put this question out to you all earlier and you guys had some mixed feelings about it. Some say no way AIs are just fancy machines. They don't really feel or think, they just mimic us. Because they're not built like us, they can't experience things as we do. They're just tools. Others believe that if an AI gets advanced enough, it might just have feelings and self-awareness. It doesn't matter if they're made of silicon or cells. It's about how complex and organized they are. But hey, I'm still curious. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, Give it a like and subscribe for more videos on AI. Also, curious to know, if you had the chance to own a robot from X Robots, would you jump at it? And what's the first thing you'd ask it to do? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.